my book update for my 19 books in 2019 challenge. Now, uh, there are a couple of ladies doing this. There is uh, Charlotte from Wacky World of Lottie, Laura Bollum from Laura Bollum's channel, Lynette from Sparkly Princess Lynette, and I believe there is another lady who I have been forgetting to mention all this time, and I think her name is Museum Girl 135 I will link all of their details for you down below. Please do go check them out. Uh, they're a lovely bunch of ladies, and um, yeah, we do a couple of projects together, and this was one of them. So these were um, 19 um, criterias for you to fulfill with a book. So there was uh, a children's book, there was uh, a book with love in the title, a book with Christmas in the title, um, and all sorts of things. Now, the book that I have been reading this time round, um, this is, I think, my fourth book that I have been reading um, for this challenge. <clears throat> And it's called The Snow Spider Trilogy by Jenny Nemo. I think that's how you say a name. And originally I had put this in as my children's book. However, there was one criteria that I didn't fulfill at the beginning of the challenge because I didn't have a lot of books by then. That has since changed. I have, I have been on a book buying binge. Um, most of them second hand in charity shops, so don't worry, my bank balance is fine. Um, and one of the criteria that I didn't fill originally was a book that has been on my shelf the longest. <clears throat> now, in hindsight, this book should have really gone into that category. So I'm actually counting this as the book that has been on my shelf the longest instead of the children's book category. And I'm going to put something else in as my children's book. And the reason why is because this book is the oldest book I have had in my collection. Um, I know it's the oldest book because me and my eldest daughter, who is Rowena, and she is 19 now, um, and a red coat at Butlins, um, we used to sit and read this as a bedtime story together when she was a child. So when she was about five, six, seven years old, I think, um, I can't remember her exact age, but she was of like learning to like, she was of reading age, but still young enough to want a bedtime story. So we would sit and we would read The Snow Spider together. Now, I think we only finished, because this is three books in one, you have, um, uh, you have The Snow Spider, Emlyn's Moon and the Chestnut Soldier. Chestnut Soldier. Wow, sticky teeth in Nicola. The Chestnut Soldier. So it is technically three books into one trilogy, into one book. And I think we only sat and read The Snow Spider, the first book in here. Together, we didn't finish the entire book. Um, so, um, so yeah, that was a shame, but it meant that I could read it now uh, for this challenge and enjoy it. So, um, because I'd already read The Snow Spider, I kind of had an idea of what was happening. And I, I kind of, I felt like I could enjoy it even more because I kind of went, oh, I remember this bit. Oh, I remember that bit as well. And it was really... Um, it was really quite a fun read. It is a children's book and um, all three books kind of follow the same characters throughout and they're basically um, concentrating on a boy called Gwyn who on his ninth birthday Gwyn is given a brooch and told to cast it into the wind. High on the mountainside Gwyn hurls the brooch into the air and waits. It is only later that Gwyn discovers the wind has sent something back, the snow spider. Um, and so, um, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, I, it was kind of weird because the day I started this, um, was actually St. Um, George's Day. Is it St. George? No, not St. George. St. David's Day, which is the Welsh, um, day, um, the Welsh saint. So it was quite fitting that this is set in Wales. Um, and I started it on St. David's Day, so 
that was quite good fun. It was like, oh, I never realised that. Um, it was a kind of a coincidence. Um, but yeah, I really did enjoy this. What I have been doing though, um, to try and slow my reading down, otherwise I would have finished this within a week, um, was because there was three books, I kind of broke it up and put other books in between from my library, from my new collection of books, um, and just read other books in between all three of these books. So I would read Snow Spider, then I would put it down and pick up something else and read that, put it um, when I finish that, come back and read Emlyn's Moon and then finish, once I finished Emlyn's Moon, move on to another book and read that and then I came back and finished The Chestnut Soldier and um, I can say that all of these books, I'm glad they were in one. I think if these books had been in separate books and I think you can buy them as separate books, but I think if they, if I had it like that, I probably wouldn't have picked up the second and third not not because I didn't enjoy them I did I did enjoy them but it is a children's book and I'm not a child anymore sorry I'm not um so it's a good book um for young um young readers um probably sort of from eight or nine years old up to say maybe 13 or 14 although kids today don't read sadly um but yeah it is a good children's book i'm just not its target audience so for me um yes um i enjoyed the stories um but I wouldn't have picked up all three books and read all three if I had them separately. I, so I'm glad I had this trilogy where all three books were in one. And um, yeah, it was really, really good. I did really enjoy it. There is some uh, Welsh language in here as well, dotted throughout the stories. It's not so much that you feel like you're missing a part of the story if you don't know Welsh. But if you do know Welsh and you can read Welsh, then you're going to get extra little bits in here that only you and other Welsh people are going to know and understand. I obviously uh, miss those bits because I can't speak or read Welsh. Um, so I think that would give you an extra added little like boost if you are Welsh. So yeah, it is a good book. I think I'm probably going to give it a three on Goodreads um, because I'm now on Goodreads um, but I'm only giving it a three because it's I'm not its target audience um, so for me it it wasn't um, what I want it to be so it's not the book's fault it's not my fault it's just I'm reading a book that's younger than my reading uh ability kind of thing so um yeah i really did enjoy it though it was a good book and i think um yeah children of about 9 to 13 maybe 14 would thoroughly enjoy it and i definitely would recommend it um reading it with your children if you have younger children so yeah so that is that one so the next book that i'm moving on to um on Netflix, um, I have been watching uh, the series Shadow Hunters. Now there is a film um, of the Mortal Instruments, which is the Shadow Hunters um, series, is the Mortal Instruments, and um, so I've been watching the series on Netflix, and that's what made me buy the box set of the Shadow Hunters books. Um, and this is the second one in that uh, collection. So there is the bind. So it is the second book. Greatly appreciate that this book is numbered um, because I think if a book is in a series or in a duology or in a trilogy or anything, it should have a number on the spine or somewhere on the cover or even somewhere inside where it says this is the second book of the series or trilogy or whatever because it makes my life so much easier um 
so yeah um so what i was saying was um shadow hunters on netflix they have just brought out the new series which despite should have been called number four series four they've actually labeled it as series 3b so i don't understand why but anyway um but yeah so there's new episodes being uploaded every week on a tuesday of the new series series 3b and it kind of inspired me to get back to my shadow hunters i have read the first one in this project um it was the first book i picked up um, and kind of inspired me to take part in this project. Um, so I'm inspired to read the second book in the series. This is City of Ashes by Shadow, um, by Cassandra Clare. And on the back it says, Haunted by a past, Clary is dragged deep into New York City's terrifying underworld of demons and shadow hunters. But can she control her feelings for a boy who can never be hers? So um, it has... 415 pages um the snow spider was 380 pages so quite long um but when i broke it down into the three books the books were averaging about 100 150 200 pages so for each book so uh, not long individual books but altogether 380 pages um but yeah this one is the second book in the shadow hunters and is 415 pages so I will be moving on to this book next because I love me some shadow hunters. So that is it. That is the next book that I am on to. And this is to uh, fulfill the criteria of a book you've already read, a sequel of a book you've already read. So this is a sequel because it's number two. Um, so yeah, uh, this counts. So that is the book I'm going to be moving on to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit the bell button so you'll be notified of my next video going up and I will see you in that next video. Bye.